Here's another example of an argument, and we want to decide whether it's valid or not. A musician can play the guitar or the piano. She can play the guitar, so she can't play the piano. And of course the so gives us the hint that that following part is the conclusion. The premises are the first sentence and the first half of the second sentence. So as always, we'll break this down into individual components. So we'll call playing the guitar P, playing the piano Q, which makes that first premise P or Q. The second premise is that she can play the guitar, so that's P. And the conclusion is, therefore, she can't play the piano or not Q. So she can play one or the other, she plays one, therefore she must not play the other. This is an invalid argument though, proven by the fact that that last column is not all true. This is what's called the misuse of disjunctive reasoning, and it's a fallacy. It looks a lot like disjunctive reasoning, where we said P or Q, and not P, therefore Q. But remember, or says at least one of these is true. So we know if one isn't true, the other one must be. But knowing that one is true doesn't tell us anything about the other one. It could be true or it could be false. Either way, one or the other would be a true statement. So this is a fallacy and it's the misuse of disjunctive reasoning. So it's subtly different from correct disjunctive reasoning and you should pay attention to the differences between them.